cinnamon fresh fresh like straight out of your mama coochie fresh guys here they pour alcohol like they're throwing it away Welcome, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button because it's lit here and you really know it. If you're returning, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, bestie. Both of you can go ahead and hit that like button. I would have loved to start it off earlier, but I'm starting it off now. And we're going out. We're not too sure what we're going to be doing today, but we're... Let me give you a quick fit check. First, I want to start with my hair because I did it. I did it yesterday. The curls have dropped very nicely. Well, the waves. I like my hair wavy, not really curly. I'm wearing these jeans, this leather trench, and it's got such nice deep pockets. If you're part of this channel, you already know Miss Girl. This is her and my channel now. So, come, husband. It's okay, He's wearing this black top, black pants, and you put like this. Wait. <laughs> and those uh, sneakers and this leather jacket that I love so much on him, but he doesn't like wearing it. So I today to I forced, his so I forced him to wear it. I'm wearing my kitten heel. No, We look the fuck good. Like we look literally the fuck good. But anyway, we're gonna be drinking tonight, so we're not driving. So let's go out and have a time. It's Friday night. This one's actually cutting his hair at 11.49 p.m. Almost midnight. And he's in the barber shop. That was the best time to vlog that. This is crazy to me that we're sitting here at midnight to cut your hair when we're supposed to be out. Literally, he said, no, I need to stop by my barber first. Do you guys see what time it is? Do you see what time it is? Only in Dubai, man. I don't know. You need to go get your barber a jet or something. Because I would... Number one, man. I would never. Guys, my husband is so lit. My husband is so, so lit. He's laughing at a guy who's wearing Dioro. He's like this guy. Go get Dioro. I'm like, babe, that's not Zulu Dioro. He knows what Dioro means. Guys, here they pour alcohol like they're throwing it away. Hey, there's no reason for them to be pouring that much alcohol. It really makes no sense. Babe, 
You can't just go sprinting like that. You scared the shit out of me. Hi guys, it's Sunday. Last I saw you was Monday. Friday, got home late. We slept the whole day yesterday, basically. Guys, I have this thing where, like, I get agitated. Like, I get overstimulated. My husband loves music and loves playing music via the speaker. And there's nothing wrong with that. But, like, when the music is loud and then the washing machine is going and then I hear him walking up and down and it, it's like so many sounds and I feel like I'm literally going crazy. So today we're going to this restaurant I've been wanting to go to called, I've been to Parker's before, but I wanna go to this specific location. I mostly wanna take photos. I hardly ever get to take photos of myself. So I wanna take nice photos. I wanted to go during the day. It's late now, it's basically 4 p.m. By the time we get there, it being tourist season and all, I know there's gonna be some hectic traffic. Guys, I ran out of a bunch of stuff. I ran out of eyebrow, my eyebrow pencil, I ran out of setting spray, and I ran out of, there was something else I ran out of, I forgot what. So I had to order on Kareem, Kareem basically being the Uber Eats version of here. I got these Maybelline New York Express Brow pencils. I got one in warm brown and one in black brown. I use this one. I haven't like combed it out to look natural. It's still a box right now. Don't judge me. But these actually are not as nice as the ones I usually use. Oh sh it's not as nice as the precisely brow that I usually use. And then for setting spray, I usually use the, the Dior something something and the um, the Benefit All Nighter or whatever it's called. So today I got this L'Oreal Paris Inf Infallible Mattifying Setting Spray and this Maybelline New York Fit Me Matte Poreless. Ooh, this one has witch hazel. No wonder it's feeling funky on the skin, chill. I'm so scared that my makeup is gonna start separating and stuff like that. Guys, I'm due for another Sephora haul. I think the last time I did one was not even last year anymore, in 2022 in June. The stuff I bought then is nearing its end. Like, I wanna try new shit. This is working for me, but I don't wanna use this anymore. I want to get the House Labs foundation. This one, I bought a I bought a color that's too light, so I've been having to mix it with this. And I literally just bought the darkest shade, shade child, and I don't think that's what you're supposed to do. But I wanted to mix it with this one and get my shade. And this is what it looks like currently. Sometimes it'd be looking gray if I don't mix it right. I want to try the Too Faced concealer. I tried the Too Faced foundation. It was it was just not working out for me. Maybe it's because I wasn't using it right or something, I don't know, but it just wasn't working out for me. So I want to try the Too Faced concealer. The Tarte is good, but I feel like it'd be bringing out, like, it'd be bringing out my texture, like, it'd be, it'd be showing the world my stresses and life problems, and I don't like that. The Laura Mercier helps hide the texture on my skin and makes it, like, airbrushed and stuff. I've been slowly trying to use less and less foundation because I don't care. I have marks, dark marks on my skin, and I've been trying to hide it with like a whole gazillion liters of foundation. And I'm like, I don't care no more. It is what it is. I want to try to be able to like have an everyday makeup routine. My current everyday makeup routine is just not giving. Like I can't be walking out every day with a full beat on my face so on my vision board i have a lot of non-materialistic things and i don't want to like it was so private like it's so private there's things me and my husband want this year and i want to you know aspire for it and like you know and it's gonna be so sweet and cute that i don't want nobody no evil eye obviously like more money you know wealth I want to grow closer relationships with my family. I want to set a lot of boundaries with a lot of people and I want to start cutting off. Not cutting off, I don't believe in cutting off people. I believe in natural selection. I don't have to be like, okay, I'm cutting you off. Ugh. No, I don't believe in that. But I, I just want to work on tolerating less. Like there's people in my life that only speak to me 
when they want something. I've noticed, but because, you know, I'm like, no shame. I always give people benefit of the doubt. I low-key ignore it. But this time, no. You can't only speak to me when you want something. You don't be asking me how I am. Nothing. You didn't wish me happy new year. But now you want to be like, hey. This year, I really want to focus on relationships that serve me. That serve my spirit. That serve my heart. Those are the type of relationships I want to focus on this year. This year, I also want to make some new friends, gain some social skills because I have no social skills at all. And it actually is horrible. Like, how am I this grown and have no social skills? It's actually kind of embarrassing. I really want to make friends and hopefully I can find like genuine, genuine people here, out here. Like, I have genuine friends like but they're in south africa i want to make like closer friends here i can't fake a vibe well, you will know how i feel about a lot of, it's written on my face the amount of people that have been like sending me messages on my someone co recently commented on my tiktok when's the next youtube video and how like i'm so shook that people genuinely enjoy my youtube video I, it's so bad like i started it as just like a, a a video diary you know just to look back on i'm not gonna lie i was not expecting all of that like people if i don't post there's people that are literally gonna be in my dms and be like excuse me ma'am yeah we see we see these stories we see your tiktoks we see all that but so when are you posting on youtube I'm genuinely flattered. So if you're like be watching my YouTube for real, for real, thank you from the bottom of oh, the bottom of my heart. I genuinely, genuinely, genuinely appreciate it. Hi guys. So it's like 7 p.m. I wanted to go there and take nice day photos, but it's not day anymore. So we're not going there anymore. Someone thought it would be a good idea to start washing shoes. They're sneakers. Even though I asked so nicely yesterday, like, baby, you can play games all night until whatever time you want. But at 4 p.m., can we please be at Parker's? He was like, okay, babe. He came to, I don't know what time he came to bed. I was already sleeping. And then he overslept. Are you serious right now, bro? Like, are you serious right now? Anyway, we're gonna go to Ding Tai Fang because we haven't eaten all day. I got a Twister Granadilla. This is one of my favorite, this is one of my favorite drinks. And I'm wearing the jacket I wore for Chris Brown. If you watch that, then you know. But yeah, let's go. Hey guys, so we are at Ding Tai Fang. So we went shopping a little bit and possibly, should I say what we got? And that's between us. I think that's the one thing we both like like have agreed wholeheartedly that we don't speak about it. I'm just so excited for life. That's what I'm going to say. Here onwards. Going forward, not looking back and not skipping back. Not looking back at, ooh, I like that. He's geeking just as much as I am. I'm not, I'm not. I'm a thug. <laughs> it's our first time eating today and it is 7.57. I think we're both grumpy, yeah? the next morning it's monday morning um i guess we're not going to parkers again today because somebody Sorry. is leaving and i don't want to go i mean i guess i could go alone but i don't want to and like who's gonna take photos of me he's going out to i don't know i got work honey wherever he's going out i gotta meet to. up I'm really trying to make him feel bad. I'm sorry, but it's I'm no really support. trying to it's make you feel it's bad. Important. It's work, guys. I gotta go. It's work, baby. I love you, though. I love you, though. I'll see you later, yeah? You need to take me shopping then. To I'm gonna take to you me. shopping anywhere you wanna go. Wait, wait. Don't make noise. Don't make noise. I'm going now. Is this nigga really don't give up. Love you. 
Look, what? look who came to fetch me. I came back. I told you I was gonna come back. I was with my side nigga though. <sighs> so. Oh my god. Now I'm gonna take you to spoil you. So wherever you wanna go tonight, we can go. We can sit down. If you want a drinky drink, if you want something and you're you're in a new bag you can't always bribe me with new bags i'm babe. not bribing you i want to make you happy i am happy okay so guys we're gonna go out for some dinner we're probably gonna go to some restaurant on the palm on palm jamera i'm just in sweatpants because i just started my monthly and i'm in like i'm not okay we wanted to try nobu and i'm just not in the mood for dress and heels like at all so no we'll go somewhere chill baby don't even stress honey i don't even i don't know where we're going i just know that i'm hungry and i love this hair so much but i just wish the curls stayed a bit longer i did my makeup so quick today yeah. and it's actually looking it's actually looking good and i don't use much less if you guys remember earlier on i was telling you about how i wanted to start using less makeup right. I, I want some right. corn dogs and maybe a slushy baby Look at the cotton candy. Oh, yeah, I never see it empty. Baby, you fuck that shit. I'm oh. not done. You see how I live pieces? <laughs> that's for after. That's for later. I'm saving those for later. Baby, you messed it up. You, you messed with the, with the main the main course. Uh huh. That's dessert. And then you know what I gotta do. You know what I gotta do after. I gotta what? break it in half and then suck the deuce, juice out. All right. No freaky. No freaky. But you know what I gotta do, baby. That's real ghetto, baby. <laughs> Yo, he messing that up. Hmm? Got some cinnamon. I was getting slashy. Got my guys. I got my corn dog. Thank you, baby daddy. Welcome, mom. Got my corn dog and my slushy. Is it good? Hey, ready? It's all right. Fifty-fifty. It's not bad. Mm. It's not good either. You took the whole thing in your mouth. That's crazy. Good morning, you guys. Oh, I look cute. So, good morning, you guys. So. Go like more normal so that I can speak. Oh, sorry. We are on our way to the Atlantis Royale for breakfast, and I've been wanting to do this and just never woke up early enough to do it. But today, we're like, okay, let's let's go. So we're on our way to Atlantis, and it's actually so far. It's not far. It's probably traffic, but it's like. A 42 minute drive but apparently it's like one of the best breakfast buffets they have everything for a breakfast buffet it's crazy like they have Indian Chinese cuisine Italian cuisine like pizza you can get a custom pizza made like they have an American breakfast station an English breakfast station a da -da 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 station and then another station and a, and a, and a, a, a station you guys are probably thinking like oh y'all getting excited over breakfast you guys don't understand we don't have breakfast. we don't eat breakfast <laughs> by the time we get up it's like lunch time yesterday we went out to where we go we went to was it kite beach i wasn't feeling well and stuff and i really really was craving corn dogs so we went and we got some corn dogs they were disappointing and we got a slushy the slushy was so sweet oh my god and then we got a cinnabon the cinnabon wasn't fresh i, I like my cinnabons like fresh fresh, fresh, fresh like yeah. Straight out your mama coochie fresh. Nothing left to say, like, period. Period. And then we just like walked on the beach. It was so refreshing. It was so nice. I really had a good time. We were just walking up and down the beach.
So when you get here, there's these stairs you walk up. I almost tumbled and killed myself, chair. Yeah. Just got some ginger shots. Pure ginger. Is that pure ginger? Ginger and lemon. I mixed this one, so it's not pure ginger. There's lemon in it also. This one wasn't that bad. Look at this view, guys. Look at this view. Atlantis. I be eating my spinach. They tried to clone my image. They burned the London bridges. And London, the bitches British. I know they know the difference. And I just fell in love with a gangster. So I hold down like an anchor. We are in Carry 4 because I'm looking for okra. My mom says I must look for okra, so I'm looking for okra. It's supposed to help with like iron levels and stuff. I have an issue with iron. I need to be eating my spinach, beetroot, and apparently okra also really helps. Okay, so I found it, but I don't know how you look. Like, how do you... I don't know, guys. Also, I'm scared. These look like they taste bitter. From Carry Four, and I want to show you how much the okra was. I'm actually so shook. One dirham 85 fuelless, which is the equivalent to like five rand, six rand. Because we originally went in there to just get the okra. Look how much I got. I got quite a bit. If it wasn't for the gum that I got, because I got, if it wasn't for the gum, the total would have been like two dirham. Without the gum, the total would have been two dirham. I'm so shook. It's so cheap. It's so so cheap. And it has like all these health benefits. But yeah, you should do your own research. Basically, like boil it in water and drink it. But it's like slimy, which is, I'm not excited for. But we're gonna try it together at home. Do you wanna try the okra with me? No. Just one bite, just to taste. Come then. I'm gonna boil it with ginger because I like the taste of ginger. Don't. Even as I'm slicing it, it's like sticky. Like, do you guys see? See that? Okay, I'm gonna cut it and like slice things. Oh, they like little stars. Wait, wait, look, look, look. Okay, so it's like a star. Look, look at this, look at this. All right. You ready? Yeah. You ready? Three, oh, I'm so scared. You ready? What happens if it's like bitter like aloe? Have you ever had aloe? Why would I be eating aloe? Maybe. You're supposed to eat aloe. Those things are good for you. Alright, okay, okay. But things like aloe that are good for you, like aloe, are like burn. Babe, this, this, come on, baby, come on. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Okay, just not that bad. It really isn't that bad. It really isn't at all. It's not bitter at all. I could actually eat this like how I eat. Wait, isn't there a dish covers. called okra soup? And it's, I know it why doesn't I taste bad. I could actually. The slime's a bit wild, texture-wise, not taste-wise. Made in a lab. I'm gonna make it into a tea, so I'm gonna boil it. 
getting old now, guys. Prioritize your health, otherwise, before you know it, your body gonna be going crank. <laughs> I'm really trying to catch it before it gets to the point where my back be cracking when I get up. You know it's rough when you need to use momentum to stand up. You start, you, no, no, you swing no, back no. first, <laughs> and then you go. <laughs> No, 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 no. We can't have that. No. We cannot have that. Guys, please don't judge me. I know sometimes I'll be slow and I'm behind. If you already know this, please don't come and, and say hurtful things. By recent, I mean like two years ago. I learned that to peel ginger, you don't use a peeler. You gotta take a spoon and just like do that with a spoon to peel it. I'm gonna put ginger and a little bit of raw honey. Here's my okra tea. The consistency is wild. I put water in it so it's not as bad now. I put more water because before it was straight up gel. I was like, this ain't no tea, this is gel. So kind of in my mouth right now, it feels like a smoothie. So that's good. Oh, I could get behind this. Okay. This is good. So this is okra, ginger, and a little bit of honey, raw honey. Happy. Cheers. <laughs> Chocolate covered strawberries. I'm in a food coma. You're feeding me again. Yes. It's dessert. I'm trying to lose weight. Okay. Okay, so don't have some. I said trying and failing. Oh, you ate. Uh uh. Uh uh. So tell everyone good night. Good night, minions. Oh my god. Okay, guys. So it's much, much later on in the day. You can tell by how crusty my makeup look. Remember that tea I made earlier on? So I waited for it to cool off. So I've been drinking these big bottles of water. I put it in here. Look at what this looks like. I need thick too. I can't be walking around with this chair. It looks like piss. No, what does this look? It looks like pee. I'm gonna need to buy a bottle that like is not transparent. I'm gonna try this for like two weeks straight. I'm trying this now because like I said, I'm on my monthlies and I'm like feeling tired. I'm just feeling like crap. So the texture is throwing me off a little bit, guys. I don't wanna lie. The texture is throwing me off a little bit and I'm trying to be a big girl about it. I'm just gonna finish this. I think I'm gonna do like, I'm gonna ha drink this today and tomorrow. Good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you so much. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button because it's a good time here. It always is, it forever will be and that's that on that and if you've made it to this point of the video please leave this emoji over here so that i know who's who i love you guys thank you see you in the next video bye